students. Today we will talk about energy density. Okay. First, energy, living organisms are divided into three levels. Producers as plants and consumers as animals. The composers as bacteria. What is the difference between the three forms? First one, the producers, it means living organisms which produce energy, which make its own food, like plant. Plant, in photosynthesis process, makes its own food. So it is a producer. All living organisms consume this food. For example, if we talk about Beer. Beer eat plant. So when after plant doing its food, beer get energy from plant. So this one is producer and this one is consumer. After death of this living organism, bacteria will get energy from this beer. Maybe Lion, a lion, feed on deer, so energy will move from deer to lion. So we will call this consumer one and consumer two and consumer three and so on, till reaching to bacteria. So that's the three levels of energy. We can say about producers, we can say autotrophic living organisms. Okay? But here heterotrophic living organisms. So that's the three levels. Now, if we say that a plant is eaten by locust insect, then a toad eat this locust, then a snake eat this toad, then hawk eat the snake, then this hog dies, so bacteria will decompose this hog. So the energy fat here from plant to locust, then from locust to toad, to snake, to hog, to bacteria. Okay, plant to locust to toad to snake to hog to bacteria. We can say about this shape, it's a food chain. Similar to chain. Okay, if we have another living organism, okay, like Lion, deer, rabbits, and other types of insects. Okay. We 
Lion Kick. Hobo. Maybe Vex. This week and so on. See? You can see about this shape put web. Put web is a group of food chains. Okay? It refers to the path of energy. So we can say that energy levels are living organisms divided into producers and consumers and decomposers. From that we can conclude the food chain and the food web. Thank you.